Let's go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Kid Kills. Kill this YouTube world, man. We back with another video of this effing year. In this video, we're going to be doing the top five gloves for running backs. I know y'all probably been waiting on it, so let's get into it. Now, you already know when it comes to being a running back, you know, of course, you got to have good pad and good grip on the ball because, you know, defenders are trying to punch the ball out, strip the ball out. I mean, of course, it's with any position, but, you know, running back is in particular, you know, when you're hitting the hole and you are trying to, you know, make a lot of juke moves, stuff like that. You're going to have a lot of DNs trying to reach at you. Middle linebackers, again, trying to punch the ball out. Even when the quarterbacks is trying to, like, hand you the ball, you know, so you want to have good grip on the, you know, on your gloves and good patting on the gloves. Coming in at number five, 80 0 8.0s now i did a similar uh test performance on my channel i do like how again i do like how adidas gloves are very like very colorway like they change up their color they change up their grip and i will say one flaw about the gloves though it can kind of wear off a lot like you know how some gloves when you know how you spit on them and kind of do like this or pour water on them kind of do like this like if you do that sometimes the grip is is gone that's one takeaway from them though I do like, again, I did like with those gloves, uh, especially the ones that I did a test performance on, went more colorway or put more detail, put more detail on the gloves. Again, I just wish they could have made the, the grip a little bit more lasting because I feel like if you're halfway in your season, that's when they'll start to wear off. I did notice that, like like practice and stuff, like I did know they started to wear off a little bit. Coming in at number four is gonna be the next round G1 gloves i do like next round as a brand like i'm not gonna lie because we got some socks from them and i will say you know this was like a new this was like a newer brand you know trying to i don't want to say compete but are trying to be on the level with nike adidas you know under armor stuff like that you know their first glove that they came out with i'm not gonna lie yeah them gloves were really really good um i believe you know will did a test performance on them uh they were all red you know having tried them on i did like how if you get your size in gloves so for example i wear a size large in gloves they fit right on like there is no oh they're gonna slip off if somebody like pulls them off or you know accidentally no they're snug they're real fit and it's crazy because because i can wear xl and gloves too but usually when i wear xl and gloves they will have just a tad bit of room even then they felt like real snug on my hand and there was no room in the fingertips or none of that when you play the running back you don't want like nothing loose especially you know something around your hand definitely do a test performance or at least yeah do one on my channel so Stay tuned for that. Coming in at number three, we have the Nike Vaporjet 7.0s. Now, I will give Nike this. I do like the fact that they put like pads on the gloves, getting hit, going to, through the hole and stuff like that. You know, there's helmets and again, people trying to punch the ball out of your hands and stuff. They actually put padding on their gloves, like literally all around here and up here. I haven't really done a lot of Nike, like I haven't really worn a lot, but those, I did like those. Just like I said about the next round gloves, if you get your, again, they snug on. It's not real loose, even around like putting on the gloves. My grip was real good, those gloves. Would definitely recommend those. I see a lot of like, you know, running backs wearing those, like Derrick Henry, I know I've seen him wear them gloves a couple times. Coming in at number two, we have the 80-0. 12.0s. I was proud of Adidas because with those gloves, they actually added pads on those gloves because usually they're not known for adding pads on those gloves. With these, they added more padding on the glove, uh, more breathability, hmm. more breathability on the gloves. So like a little bit more airway on them. Again, you know, they're known for like being flashy, having like, you know, the cool decals on them and stuff like that logos. So not really worried about that. The grip was way better. I feel like those are better than the 8.0s. Of course, they 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 actually went up with gloves or cleats or whatever. Something comes out, the next year something comes out, they might take a step down because of something. Again, I was very excited to do a test performance on those because, and those were like, you know, I would say those were like my best Adidas gloves I've wore. Cause again, I've mostly wear Adidas stuff. Coming in, at number one 
Is some of y'all like, what's number one? Is it gonna be Nike? Is it gonna be Adidas? Is it gonna be Under Armour? Coming in at number one are the Grip Boosts DNA. Again, with a lot of these new companies that are coming out, they wouldn't be as good. Like, no, like some of them, some 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 Grip Boost gloves are actually better than some Nike gloves or some Adidas gloves. I know you see like people like destroying, like always plugging it and stuff like that. I see why they call it Grip Boost. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a, if that's a coincidence. Even with the padding on the gloves and stuff, like usually, you know, the latex is just straight flat, it's straight, it's just straight plain. And I know Will has done a test performance on them and they had little hexagons on the gloves all around the fingers and it's a little different. With the hexagon, it adds more depth for more grip or able to grip. Definitely, definitely give those a try. Like I also like too, like how it's got like little like this, like on the gloves or whatever. They're good gloves too, because they're not that that crazy when it comes to price. Like I know most Nike or Adidas gloves go for like 50. 55 they're like 40 to 45 like that's right in the range of a lot of these gloves a lot of you know i want to say big youtubers but uh like using grip boost like will and you know destroying and i will say with grip boost too they even got gel like grip boost like like gel to put more like grip residue i would say on your gloves like like i don't know if Anybody else got that? It's like, I wanna say less than 15 bucks. So you can't beat that. Get some gloves and then you get some like, you know, some grip boost, some grip uh, residue put on the gloves. You can't beat that. All right, you guys, that's been another, another video, man. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you, you know, follow where's Will and this your boy, The Kid Kill signing off.